Okay. I'm recording. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Let's tell people what's going on here. Well, first of all, I have my camera propped up over there. So, so you might want to speak up so they can hear you. Yeah, so hopefully people can see. Let me check the angle. Yeah, I think they can see. Um, and hopefully it'll all be good as long as Fritz doesn't knock it over. Yeah, if he doesn't <laughs> knock it over, it's good. It's not on a tripod. Yeah. So uh, we... You might recognize that uh, I'm not in the bed. You're not in the bed. And yeah. you're not in the living room. Not in the living room. So uh, we are upstairs in the room that we call the theater. We have a 100-foot movie screen that drops down. Yeah, I'll show. Hold on. And we have a video projector, and we show DVDs on a 100-foot movie screen that drops down. And just take a panoramic view and show that we got movie posters all around. We got a Dark Shadows gallery over here with the TV set. And uh, two theater chairs. We got the two theater chairs. That I've never sat in, ever. Not yet, I will. Over here is our Flesh Garden poster. All the posters are original one sheets and all of them are framed. Dunwich Horror back there, Phantasm, Seizure, The Legend of Hell House behind the door. And then we have Grizzly, Grizzly Adams, Gator Bait, Bobby Joe and the Outlaw, Six Pack Annie, Billy Jack. This is the Barnabas Collins that we got at the Dark Shadows convention. That's a, a reprint. Then we have Born Losers. And then this. Is These our, are done by an artist friend of ours. They're beautiful. This is our Dark Shadows gallery. So we have two different uh, eras of Barnabas. Josette in the top middle. Angelique on the top right. Um, Laura Collins and David on the bottom right. Quentin and Werewolf Quentin in the middle. And Victoria. Victoria Winters on the bottom left. And it show the Wood Brothers and show the poster in the back of the door to the bathroom. Or that, that's not a poster, that's a door covering. Yeah, it's a door covering. You might want to show the theater guy, too, in the other door. Oh, they saw that. I don't remember what that one was, was it? It's the Scrooge door knocker. Okay. So that's from, like, uh, Scrooge. Yes. So anyway, here, let me let me take you guys out here and show you real quick. So as you know, Terry's normally in a hospital bed. And uh, the hospital bed's in the living room. Remind so, people for those that don't know why. Uh, for people that don't know why, because Terry was diagnosed last year with uh, cancer, with lymphoma, as well as he has uh, a paraganglioma tumor on the left-hand side of his face. And he went through chemotherapy last year. And February 1st of this year, he was diagnosed as being lymphoma-free. But July of this year, we found out that the lymphoma came back. So he is back in chemotherapy treatments for the lymphoma. In fact, his next one is coming up the middle of September. But before, um, Terry ended up being diagnosed last year, which caused him to be bedridden, we had installed these elevator lifts in the house. Um, they fold down and you sit at them and they're electric. But even though we had paid like $6,000 for these lifts to be installed last year, when Terry got lymphoma, he became bedridden. And he was not strong enough to stand up and get into and out of the chairs. Uh, especially since this one is on the, the little uh, staircase that goes upstairs, but this one down here is the big staircase that goes, that, that area goes down to the studio. So, um, we, this is why we had the Universal Hill, what we call the Universal Hill built, so that I could take his wheelchair and back him down the Universal Hill. Um, but that hill's a bitch. And we've been trying to get to the point to where Terry felt strong enough to be able to uh, get into and out of the elevators. And today was the first day that Terry used the elevator. I have not been up here in a year and how many months? Uh, 
a year, probably about a year and a half. I mean, when you're in your house and you haven't been upstairs for over a year and a half, I mean, I told you guys the first time I was in the backyard, because we had our anniversary of getting this house last Friday. Yeah. And how many years? Six years? Six years. Huh? Six years, yeah. Six years we've been in this house. The anniversary of buying the house and getting the house closed and moving into the house was last Friday. So it's only been a couple days ago that that was the six year anniversary of moving into this house. The first time I was in the backyard to let you guys know, this is the first time I've been upstairs in the upper level of the house in a year and a half. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. But I couldn't do the elevator on the steps because I couldn't even walk. And I don't know if you told or not, but we were a little nervous about it because it's very narrow at the bottom of the steps. It's only five steps up here. But when you're in a wheelchair, it seems like a lot. Well, and the other part that was worrisome... Tell them about that. ...is that if you guys... I just showed you um, the, the two staircases. And if you notice, the big staircase is catty corner. It's almost like a 90-degree angle to yeah. the little staircase. And there's just a teeny tiny platform that's in between the small staircase and the big staircase that goes down to the studio. And the platform is so narrow that you have a choice. You could either have the walker on the platform or you could have a person and their feet on the platform. The platform is not wide enough for a walker and a person's body and their feet to both navigate it. And even when we talk about elevator, can you think about elevator? We're not talking about an elevator like on Pentacle Junction. That'd where be you nice. go inside a cave I would with. love to have that. We're talking about a little narrow ass seat that I have to hit because you can't see behind you. You don't have eyes on your ass. So Tiffany has to tell me where to sit. There's a seat like this big because you got to have room to walk up the stairway too. So it's, it's not very wide. And to know that I'm standing there and I'm looking down the incredible huge drop. And all I can say is don't look at that. Yeah, it don't is look the at downstairs. That. And then I had to turn around without the walker, standing myself, holding on to the elevator seat and holding on to the wheelchair arm and pivot myself into the elevator with no walker. And it, but it Terry was strong enough. He stood and he turned on his own without the walker. And I'm very impressed with Terry's strength. And I'm very thankful to all of you that have helped in the GoFundMe because you guys can see that your money did get me somewhere. And I wouldn't have got this far. If it wasn't for support, love, prayers, and donations. I mean, even those of you that couldn't donate, just your support and your comments all mean everything. And encouraged me to get where I was and not give up. And I'm still not giving up. So as a reward, I'll say it as a reward, although we would have done it anyway. Tonight is actually the first night of birthday week. So Terry's, what, 67? 67. 67th birthday is on uh, this coming Sunday, September 10th. I'm nearing 70. And what we do is instead of doing all the birthday presents at once on the birth date, um, I wrap all of them individually and we do one a night. It's almost like Hanukkah, but we're not Jewish. We kind of, it's like Hanukkah, but we invented it. We just took what I said the Osmonds did, but there's different. The birthday person gets presents to everybody else. Yeah. I get all the presents. <laughs> and what I, I think that's better. It's yeah. Better deal. So I have, uh, we're going to do the first night, night one, birthday week. We're going to do it upstairs. Ghosty loves the unwrapping. I, he does. And I, what I do is I let Terry pick a present and then open. we open it on camera. And then we'll do this every night up until birthday week. Which, now, which is hard because my ears went out again. So I can barely hear. I can hear Tiffany, but I can barely hear. And my eyes are still bad. We went in for the first eye exam. It did not go well. No, you went in for the first ear exam. Well, it, it, oh, that's right. I'm yeah, sorry. it was first nice. First ear exam did not go well, except I'm going to have to have a hearing aid. Because among other things, I have tinnitus. Hi, Ghosty. Thank you for giving <laughs> it to me. Ghosty gave it to me. Yeah. I shouldn't have went out. Uh, you shouldn't have went out carousing. Course casting with him yes. or bowling or whatever. Yeah. But uh, the people with the hearing, the guy with the hearing test was awesome. The doctor was a fuck up crazy bitch. So it didn't go well. Yeah. And I got to find another doctor. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what I'll do. I will show Terry all of the presents so that I have both hands. And then he can pick one. And then 
before you open it, I'll bring the camera over so I can I can zoom in. Okay. I'm still waiting for a gift certificate to Pahrump <laughs> at your chicken ranch. Now there is I always let Terry pick what present he wants. But I feel a furry tail. There is a couple of presents that I held back. Oh. Because I don't want you to open them yet. Well, you said one's not here yet. Well, there's one that's not here yet. And there's two that's downstairs that I held back because I don't want you to open it until we get closer to your birthday. Everybody loves seeing these videos because you've got like the most unique taste. <laughs> and give, you find all the stuff that is cult radio and cult TV. Let's see. What you like cult radio and cult TV. And uh, especially if you're a member of Patreon, we got, what, seven now, right? Yeah. Seven members on Patreon. We encourage you to check out our Patreon. All this stuff. Can be seen at Craig Radio, C R A G G Radio, all one word, lowercase.com, or cultradioagogo.com. But craigradio.com is the shorter way to get there. Okay, so here's what you have to pick from. All right. This is package number one. All right, my soul told him. Now I'm going to swap them out. Oh, this is a decide. shirt. That's package number one. This is a shirt. Package number two. This is a DVD set. <laughs> Package number three. When you get this is a CD. When you when you're blind, you can tell with your fingers, you know. Package number four. Oh, uh, this is probably closer. These are probably pants. Okay. Because I, I like these. I'm like a major fan of what they call pajama pants. I love. Them. Package number five. Now that could be anything. That could be like an autographed picture. Could be. Yeah. And package number six. Ooh, Jesus, this is a heavy ass book or something. So tell me which one you this want. This is a book. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, I'll go with the, the one I said could be a picture. The one you said could be a picture. Okay. So that one comes with a friend. That one comes with a friend? Yes. So you get two. So you invite a friend? You get two. Hold on, let me get the camera. And of course, you'll have to tell me what it is that I won't be able to see because I don't have my eyes fixed. No, the, the hearing tests were good, but the 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 ear doctor, which was a lady, forgot she was an ear doctor. She started getting into my cancer and wanting to undo everything my two genius cancer doctors are treating me with and doing, and it was like none of her business. So I am going to get hearing aids. Uh, they're being covered by the insurance company, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Get the hearing aids, is done. Okay. But I got to work out my eyes. Go figure, a guy on radio for 45 years can't hear. It comes synonymous with the business. Tiffany also is losing her ear. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and we all know about Ghosty. He gave me tinnitus. It would have been more fun if Rachel would have given me the clap. <laughs> but she never had the clap. I was going to say, what's, who's saying she has the clap? I love Rachel. Rachel, where are you? I need to hear from you. Rachel's a nice girl. She is. She took being on Craig so serious. I thought she was there to fuck around. She really respected us. Oh, it's a metal sign. Oh, I collect metal signs. All right. Let's see if I can read it. Only you can forbid. Oh, my God. It's Smokey it's the Bear. Smokey the Bear. Okay, let me help me uh, yeah. tilt this. No, you're good. See, the thing is, we live in the Los Angeles National Forest. And the first thing you see when you reach our little city limits, we have a population of under 500 people. Yeah. And it's all forest and pine trees in a mountainside at a canyon. And right at the beginning, they have a sign with Smokey the Bear. Yep. And, and it tells you what the fire local, Our local forest ranger, when they have like little events up here, yeah. they come out dressed as Smokey the Bear. They have a Smokey the Bear co mascot costume, and Smokey the Bear will attend like our little like you know, mountain, you know, festivals and parades. And this stuff land like that. is federal land, yes. and all this is owned by the government and by the Forestry Service, and we had to go through them to get the house. And the insurance. This is awesome. I don't have anything smoky to bear. So you can decide where you want to hang that because I know that we in have. In the bathroom, all metal plaques. We have plaques metal going plaques in the bathroom. Yeah, there's room. Every but that metal one's a little bit smaller that than that. You those. can show them. My collection there, you get a chance, you got time. Yeah. But definitely in the bathroom. My friend Ken who's a makeup genius that created uh, the, the dolls for, uh, Rhea, Pup, not Rhea, Puppet, Puppet Master. Master. Yeah. Uh, made a Smokey the Bear suit for commercials, it's for TV. Beautiful. Excellent, excellent work. Yep. 
So check him out. Very, very good. All right, it came with a buddy. Ken Hall. So you get to open the other one. All right. Why is there three? There was two. Oh, well, what was the other thing you took away? Oh, that was the That face. was the wrapper. All right. This kind of looks like uh, Twin Peaks. A little bit. <laughs> it, you know, they're straight. They're not, you know, it doesn't quite look like Chevron. That is awesome because I wanted more metal plaques for that. Everything goes to the bathroom because that's where my collection is. And there's definitely room. And this is another metal mm. plaque. Perfect. Now, I'm not going to be up here every day to open stuff, but I got up here today, so I figured it was a special day. Wish me luck or I'll be spending the night up here. Hard to get and we couch. have a couch. You're fine. Okay, this one I'm having okay, a little you gotta, trouble it, seeing. Hold it this way. That way. Oh, this way? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can concentrate. No, this is very light. Is it Freaks? Yes. Freaks. It's Well, it's not Freaks the movie, okay. but it's an old advertisement for a freak show. Very good. So it says... Like Circus Freaks. Yes. It says, Vavona Brothers Combined Show, Robeson County... Expo exposition uh, in Lumbert, October 19th through the 24th. And then it says on the midway, uh, strange people don't miss the freak show. Nothing ever like it before. And over here you have, uh, well, she looks like a stripper, but, <laughs> but, oh, they have strippers. <laughs> but over here you have Schlitzy up at the top. Schlitzy at the top. And then you have the bearded lady. Um, you have I forget his name, but the 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 guy that didn't have arms and legs that was yeah. like the. Well, there was Johnny Eck and and Schlitzy. There's supposed to be a new uh, documentary. There's out. another pinhead down here. This is the guy with the smallest like torso and arms. This is the lady with no arms. So. You know Schlitzy lived to an old age, and usually they die young. And Schlitzy was not a girl; it was a guy. Yeah, and everybody thought it was a girl. They always put him in a dress. Let me give you a clue. If you're a collector. You still can find originals, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars, which become quite rare as long as they're not rusty and that. But the repros are nice too, and these are repros, of course. In the fact that unlike paper stuff, these last forever. If you yeah. don't bend it, it's a really nice souvenir that really lasts. I found this uh, guy on Amazon. He has a whole bunch of these. Really? And they're like eight by tens. I mean, they're or no, maybe um, ten by a. No, maybe seven by eleven. I don't remember the exact dimensions, but they're, I love metal stuff. they're fairly cheap and they're very good quality. So, yeah, they're very nice. They look like originals. They if they yes. do good work, you can't tell. Yeah. All right. But we've got y'all. She'll show you. If she's got time. We got like old cereal ads, well, old I cigarette can, ads, and Hop Along, Cassie and Long Ranger. You want to go there now? Yeah, and show? I'll show. Watch. Don't trip over that. I don't think we ever showed. You go down here. This room is the cat room. The sphinxes are in there. It's our little gargoyles and aliens. All right. So, so these are all metal signs of Titanic, Kellogg's, Edsel, Electric Oil, Dr. Thomas's Electric Oil. Coca-Cola, old gold cigarettes. Sorry for the lighting. Um, H.M. Williams and Company, Oysters, Remington, Campbell's, Menon's Toilet Powder, Red Rider Action Bar, Little Girl Doing the Laundry, Van Houten's Cocoa, Route 66, Yellow Cab Cigars, excuse me, Iver Johnson Motorcycles, the bus stop uh, signs, Pontiac, Popeye, Hopalong Cassidy Radio, Ted's Root Beer, uh, Chew Pinch Hit, hold on there's more, Lone Ranger, Bond Bread, Hopalong Cassidy Lunchbox, The Lone Ranger, Lighthouse Family Soap and Wool Soap. So we have a, a bit of a collection going. And then on the way back here, this is a piece of wallpaper from the Haunted Mansion. Terry's autograph with Jimmy Stewart. Terry's autograph from James Cagney and Mae Clark. 
Terry's Stan and Ollie autographs. Our TARDIS. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I've ever showed this. I think I showed this to Ghosty. This is our framed one sheet of uh, Bridget Bardot's Babette Goes to War, which I looked up online. I said it was worth like a couple grand. Okay, we're back. So we figured this was a good way uh, to celebrate being in this house for six years. Yep. Craig 2.0, this is a permanent Craig. And the thing that, that's gonna be great is we have been in the studio, as you know, but I always had to go down to Universal Hill. So if I made it today, I'm going to try on Saturday to go down the big elevator, down in the studio that way, which is gonna make it so much easier. Got to a point to where the last time I went up the hill, which was last Wednesday, it was Tiffany, the neighbor, her husband, and her son. I had four people pushing my fat ass up. <laughs> It, it, it's hard. It's so hard. And thanks to our neighbors, if you see the film, they're wonderful people. He's a great musician. Tanya and Robbie and, are and, awesome. Uh, he, he does uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan tribute show. Yeah. And it was so nice of them to help us. But I want to be self-sufficient and know that I don't have to go outside to go do my radio show. I don't like going outside. Well, the other outside, thing... Outside, the sun sucks. The other okay. thing is we're wanting to start doing stuff like Terry wants to go record shopping. Oh, yeah. Um, we want to go back to the grave sites. And, Amoeba and, Records, the new one. And, and, and Rhino, Rhino Records. Records. The Rhino Records store. Yeah. Ghosty, Rhino Records. Records for like a dollar, two dollars. All the parody stuff, all the old rock and roll original. There is a Rhino Records. It's separate from Rhino. So being it's able, privately owned. being able to use the elevators is going to put less stress on everybody. Because right now, we only go out when we have to. Yeah. Well, we're going to so. go out more because I'll be able to go down the elevator into the garage and directly into the van. Yeah. Like, I don't have to go down that hill. It's it's like you're being launched into space. It is so bad. And we already destroyed one wheelchair yeah. doing it. Yeah. So, so but, right. and, and then not only was it the six year anniversary, but it's the beginning of birthday week and in tribute to Jerry Lewis. We're going to go back to Washington Teleton last night. I put a link up on Facebook. This guy did a great job and took a lot of clips and edited them together with transitions. It's very professional. And we're going to watch the rest of it tonight. We suggest you do too because I noticed a lot of people didn't mention Jerry, but now a lot of these people are missing him and they're watching the clips and they're even doing live streams of yeah. the clips on YouTube. Yeah, a lot of people Good are missing Jerry and the, and the MDA telethon. Yeah. So I'm going to go downstairs and put the old man back to bed, <laughs> you know, because I don't want to get tired. But and, and then I'll be going in the bathroom soon enough you just talk because i got to get my hair cut. I'm becoming like a hippie. Hippie. Dirty yeah. hippie. So all we right. just wanted to share this with you. Thank you so much for all your support and help. This is a major accomplishment. It really, I you didn't did think good, Dad. we'd ever use, well, I knew I'd use this, but I didn't think I'd ever use the elevator. You did good. Thank all you. right, we'll do a night to a birthday week tomorrow for, on Facebook Live. Thank you. These are great. I'll show them to you once again. Yep. Freak show for a freak show advertisement like you see. The big giant cloth posters out in the yard and at the carny sites, the parking lots. And of course, uh, so, oh, Smokey the Bear. I have, there that. you go. Smokey the Bear. Because right. only you can prevent forest fires. And only you can go to craigradio.com. C-R-A-G-G -G radio.com. And not only see and hear everything we do, which includes, I don't know, over 50 Roku apps, Two live streaming Roku TV channels and five radio stations. Always the pitch man. Terry is always the pitch man. That's right. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow.